Continuing where we left off from our last video, where we looked at the cause behind that strange rainbow effect, we're going to look at why some people have digitizers that are malfunctioning after they've been installed into the device. So we're just going to look at the digitizer first. If you look at the cable for the iPad Mini 2's digitizer, you'll see that there's an IC built into the cable. This IC is very easy to damage, especially if it's squeezed. And on the other side, there's a small piece protecting the connector. Don't remove this piece and try not to handle this part of the cable as it's extremely easy to damage. And once damaged, it'll prevent the digitizer from working. Generally, when I text, test the digitizers, they'll fold the cable like this, and this is perfectly fine, it won't damage the cable in any way. They'll also use an extension cable like this one to make testing easier. This extender has a male and female end, so if you're using one to test your digitizer, make sure you get the right ends to the right places. When you connect the digitizer to the extender, don't squeeze or pull on the IC, otherwise it will break. And remember to squeeze really gently when you attach the two connectors. So now our tech is going to test the touch functionality of the screen. And the easiest and quickest way to do this is just by uh, dragging an app all around the screen so you can see if there's any dead spots or anything. All right, now he's gonna show you how to put it all together. He's gonna start off by folding the cable like so, just to make sure it fits into the case properly.
Then he'll gently connect the digitizer to the main board first. And remember not to squeeze or pull on that IC. Next we'll connect the LCD and then set everything into the case. And now you'll want to remove the cover over the adhesive and then just line everything up. Okay, now you can see how the uh, connectors fit into the case very nicely from how we uh, folded it up earlier and it's not in the way of the adhesive or anything else. Alright, now he's just going to squeeze everything down and make sure it's all secure. Alright, last but not least, our tech is going to test everything just to make sure it's all working properly. And you definitely want to test everything before and after just to make sure nothing went wrong during the assembly. And well, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can also visit our site for more information. And if you have any problems or have any questions or anything, don't hesitate to contact us. We're more than happy to help you. Anyways, thanks again for watching, and until the next video, bye.